Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about low post defense. So whether you're a guard or a forward, the low post is one of those places that you're going to be guarding at least some point in your basketball career. Whether it be elementary school, AAU, high school, college, university, pros, it doesn't matter. You're eventually going to be guarding in the low post and that's why this video is very important to a lot of different players. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Miles Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I'll show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button, subscribe, because I do post new videos twice every single day now. So anyways, in the low post, this is an area where a lot of players think you can only be tall to guard, but we have learned from a lot of different players, especially from Kyle Lowry from the Toronto Raptors, that you can still be short and defend the low post. Now I'm six foot two, I'm 300 pounds now. I've gained a ton of weight in high school. I did have a time where I was a little bit heavier as well. I was around 240-ish in high school at one point uh, because of a back injury. However, it, se it seems to be every single time I get injured, I like gain a crap ton of weight. But anyways, uh, into the low post, uh, that was kind of my spot up until about grade 11. Then I switched into a guard and I still had to defend the low post every once in a while. Now, in the low post, there's a couple of different secrets. Now, the first one, if you're a shorter player, if you can get a bit lower than your defender. So if your defender's like, let's say you're like 6'2", like me, and your, your player that you're guarding is like 6'8", you want to get a little bit lower than him so that you have the lower, lower center of mass so that now when he's trying to post you up, he can't push you as easily. So you want to get nice and low. And now, as soon as he puts that ball down on the floor, he has a long ways to dribble and you don't have a long ways to the floor. So one quick tip that you can do, if you feel confident that you're quicker than his dribble, if he's pushing on you, you can release him and now you have the ball. Now, that is kind of an advanced technique that you can kind of hone over time. I would do that stuff in practice. I wouldn't necessarily do that in games right away. However, stay low and try and keep him out of the key. Another way that you can do this is not by pushing him. You can't use your arms. As soon as you extend your arm in the low post, it's now a foul on you and you can't do that. So you can keep your arms bent and you can continue to push him using your whole body. Do not lower your shoulder because again, that's another foul. However, keep your, keep your low center of mass and just keep on nudging him outside of the key. And as soon as he gets that ball, face him straight up, get low and keep him out of that key. Don't let him get in. Now for taller players who are actually playing the low post, if your player gets the ball, what you need to do is get wide and have your hands straight up. That way he's not able to shoot all that easily around you. Now, if he's really trying to pound the ball in and lowering his shoulder and there's no fouls being called against him, he's trying to really get lower so he can get a nice easy basket, there's no law saying that you can't lower your shoulders a little bit and push him back a little bit. But again, if you lower your shoulders too far, it's gonna be a foul on you. Even if he's trying to really pound you into the low post, you can't lower your shoulders into him. You need to stay strong and stay straight up as soon as he picks up that ball. So if he's really pounding you and he picks up the ball to turn to go for a shot or anything like that, you need to be standing straight up. Now here's a clip from Marcus Gasol when he did this in game. Now being in the low post, it doesn't have to be a scary thing. It doesn't matter how tall you are, you can still defend in the low post. And if all else fails, you can always just take a charge. If you're a shorter player especially, you can take a charge. I've, I was six foot two in grade eight, and you wouldn't believe how many charges I, I got called on me because it's not from me lowering my shoulder, it's not from me pushing off, it's because the guy guarding me just decided I'm just gonna take a charge. And quite literally, that's what you can do as a player. If you're shorter than the guy who's posting you up, you can quite literally just fall. As soon as he hits you, fall. And if you've got a referee who sees it, it's gonna be a foul. So there's still backup plans if you get stuck in the low post. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.